Hi guys, welcome to this fourth battery tutorial, this time dedicated to electronics and motors. Lead time 40 minutes, complexity medium, tools needed, keys and pliers. As usual, if you haven't ordered your kit already, your DIY kit, go visit us on www.baddy.space. Let's start with the pulleys. Normally you shall have all those retainer plus switch available if you have follow tutorial 1, 2, 3. What you have to do is to attach pulleys on those parts. This one is a retainer. So looking at the orientation of the pulley, it shall be oriented to the external side of the retainer. Same thing with the switch. Use the accurate screws plus nail stop nut and Bob's your uncle. Once you have finished with the pulleys, you have to attach the baddy tripod holder on a baddy frame. Put it that way, take care of the orientation. Make sure you are mounting it in the right side. So the pinch nuts are needed in order to close the baddie box. That's the very last part of the baddie tutorial. So attach it on the two rear spacers of the fire room. Next step, several motors. Very simple step. Pay attention to the orientation of the several motors and use the screw set and the needle stop nut. You need a plier to maintain the needle stop nut and screw meanwhile. Electric switch, easy. Take your frame, take the switch and there is a dedicated hole in the frame. Pay attention, you have you have a small insert that gives the orientation of the switch. Very easy part. Motors! Alright, this is important. Screw plus rubber o-ring that you put right here. Rubber o-ring for each one of the, of the screw and then insert it in the four holes dedicated to the motors on the motorboard on the frame. Right, once done, what you have to do is O ring plus O ring but metal on which you are going to attach a nut. You'll stop again and do it for each screw attaching the motor to the motorboard. When you screw the, the, the screw into the needle stop nuts, give some room so that you have some flexibility, which is important to Betty and for the shuttle. So that's for the front uh, lead square. So two screws two spacers, the one you're gonna have are black certainly, or white, but usually they are black color. And then again, plier plus no stop nut. The PCB circuit board, again, takes the screws, give the PCB the orientation and then put the needle stop nut and you're done. Here's the battery. Take your battery. That's the charging wire. And you have to go through the frame and then insert it through the smaller hole and leave it that way. It will enable to recharge your battery. The other plugs are for electrical discharge. So that's 
the electrical plug of your ESC. Each motor has an ESC, electronic speed control. So try to wire that way so that ESCs don't take too much place in the frame. Plug the ESCs on the PCB. This is a wire which it will enable to plug the two ESCs and connect to battery. Connect those pods on the electrical switch that way. Okay, normally you should be there. Assemble firebox with frame. So take the firebox, insert it this way. Take a screw. This O-ring is not used anymore. You won't find it in the, in in your kit. Take the screw set. Again, there is a nail stop nut here. Don't screw too tight, otherwise you may damage the part. So give some room. It's just to maintain nicely the fire room with the frame. Again, this is switch and retainer servo motors. Follow instructions to plug them correctly. So the PCB right there is slightly different from the one you're gonna receive. Now you have to initialize the servo motor. So switch on your PCB and then the servo motors should be in their initial position. And what you have to do is take the switch like this and give it the accurate position. And I show you in another video how to efficiently configure the right position for your switch and retainer. So same thing with the retainer. Screw, O-ring, and then an O-ring again. Insert it through the dedicated hole on the retainer. And the other side is the poly that you attach to the shaft of the servo motor. In order to really catch the right position, your retainer shall have this orientation. Again, you, can, you will be able to fine tune that, changing the code. But normally, the poly plus your retainer shall have those orientation. So take a screw driver. And then fix everything. Keep some room so that you can uh, so that you don't affect the rotation of the of the retainer and switch. Time to cable everything. So this plastic collar enables you to take the wire of the servo motors out from the wheels, the rotating wheels, and uh, enable to tidy up. <laughs> different wires that uh, that you have on the frame so do it in the same way that we did in the video and here we are you shall have motors and all the electrics plugged uh, this way on the frame you are ready for next tutorial thanks for watching as usual order your buddy diy kit on www.betty.space see you soon for next tutorial